and ergonomical, the Embody by Herman Miller. Sheer perfection and comfort in fine office seating and, quite frankly, one of the very pinnacles of its category, but is it worth the investment? What's up peeps, I'm Sonny and I wanted to share my latest investment to my setup, the Herman Miller Embody Chair. And whether you've seen the Aeron, the Mira, or the Sail Chair, Herman Miller is a house name known and favored for the uncompromised quality and comfort. Even with the renowned Eames lounge chair, it's iconic, but it's still complete overkill. So why'd I get this? Let's rewind. Previously, I was sitting in a modest and simple Amazon Basics knockoff. No idea where I got it from really, but that's the closest that I could find and it's definitely much more affordable. Except, that thing offers, at least for me, nominal support. There's just something about a fitted chair over a universal one-size-fits-some. For me, my priority was to just get something that actually supports my back, and Embody happens to be the best. With its back fit adjustment and the pixelated support, the chair mimics the movement and curvature of your spine while evenly distributing your weight to fit your size and level of comfort. The adjustable lip, or whatever it's called, can be positioned for optimal support and comfort without cutting crucial blood circulation to the legs. The armrests are optional and you can save 100 bucks. Dude, what the heck? That's like a lot of lunch money right there. In all seriousness, I really like the armrests. They're easy to adjust and feature variable height adjustments so you'll have plenty of space to lift up and smell them stank feet. Of course, you can adjust the height of the chair, mine are set to the height of my tweeters, or you can restrict the movement of the backrest. This chair in particular features the balance fabric for better airflow and cooling, which is not something you need to spend 200 extra on material. It also has the regular casters in the graphite base for any of you who are wondering. I personally like to look at the translucent casters, but what I find most interesting is that you don't need leather to define quality. It's all about providing better support and comfort. But I still like leather. But as someone who would normally sit at the edge of the seat, because hashtag ban life, the Embody actually promotes me to sit back and relax, which is ultimately better for my back, better for me, and better for my work. Is it worth the near 1500 Hell no, are you kidding me? It's a freaking chair. But now that I have it and I get to experience it every day, I'm seeing the value in this world-class premium office chair. It's not a practical decision, it's an emotional one. One that requires you to quickly learn what your priorities are and what it is you're willing to compromise. And that's my priorities. What are yours? Be sure to let me know what you think of the video. Hours of thought goes into the making of these videos and countless more into the actual recording and post-production. What's more is that everything that you see is original content and I'm not paid to do any of this. I'm using my money to help you, the buyer and average consumer, decide. Though I didn't pay anywhere near full price, so shout out to the peeps over at Healthy Back for hooking me up. But that's my word. I'll see you when I see you, and thanks. Deuces. Pay a lot more, cry about it for a long time. That's how this thing kind of goes.